Okay, so I guess I'm going to call this human to human, okay? Uh, I don't know how else to phrase it. Uh, I was going to make a video, um, and, and this my last video announced this, basically. I was going to make a video about Nelson Mandela, uh, my take on the whole thing, uh, particularly the uh, utter hypocrisy in the Western media, uh, uh, when it concerns Mel Nelson Mandela. Uh, in the meantime, what happened, um, it, it's, it was basically just a little glitch at my end here, is that um, my computer crashed. My, my The regular computer that I'm using crashed, so I'm using an old computer here. Um, I have the new camera connected, which in itself uh, posed some problems. Uh, but in essence, to make a long story short, uh, I bought a, um, a new system, a new computer, uh, about a month ago, and um, unfortunately it uh, caught a virus, or rather um, it was invaded by a, a very nasty a Trojan, and it's, it, it was very hard to get rid of. I tried this on my own. You know, despite the fact that I have professional antivirus stuff running all the time, AVG to be exact, and that's basically a really good program. It couldn't get rid of it, um, of that Trojan, because you can't get rid of it if you have Windows running on the same machine. So I had to consult uh, basically uh, an expert in order to repair that system and it's still being tested as we speak. Um, it took about four hours to get rid of this thing. Uh, it's pretty pretty nasty Trojan, I might add. Uh, it's uh, it has the potential to really destroy your system. And for me, you know, I don't buy new computers very often, so my my present system that I'm working on right now is over six years old. Oh, well, six years old, and I tend to change it out when everything is still functioning, everything is still running well, and as you can see, everything on the old system is still running pretty good. Well, as it turned out, when I bought my new system, something happened, and uh, I may have inadvertently downloaded some software during the installation that screwed everything up, and uh, so I got this virus, and by the way, um, it is uh, um, very invasive, very dangerous, and uh, it, it's basically going to, you know, mess your whole system up if you if you get infected with this thing. Um, it's it, it is the definition, the virus definition of it is um, Adware Generic Five, okay. So this is, uh, it will completely corrupt your system, I can guarantee you. And before you know it, you know, it, first of all, it disables all your antivirus software right off. And once you get, it, get your antivirus back up and running, it, it, by that time it has already infected your system files, your registry, all that stuff. So it, it was simply impossible to, for me to repair this on my own. So. Long story short, it's being repaired now, so hopefully in a week or now, um, I've got my new system back up and running. Meanwhile, yeah, to, uh, unfortunately, uh, regarding this Mandela video that I was going to make, all of my material uh, regarding that issue is actually on the new system, because I transferred those files and, I, you know, I didn't back them up because... Well, for various reasons, but you know, we'll, we'll get to that later. What I want to address today, perhaps, is the utter hypocrisy uh, in terms of the Western media um, regarding this uh, Chudovsky guy, this uh, Russian oligarch uh, who was uh, essentially pardoned by Putin uh, in Russia. Uh, and he flew into, uh, you know, Berlin, Berlin, Germany. And this guy is being treated like, uh, you know, some sort of a national hero uh, in opposition to Putin, of course. And it is just absolutely disgusting to even witness this. This is a guy, uh, this uh, 
I don't even know how to pronounce his name, but to be sure, this is a guy who was basically pretty high up in the um, internal Russian hierarchy during the Soviet Union. Um, he attained, you know, a little bit of power within that hierarchy, uh, the Soviet hierarchy, that is. And once uh, the uh, during the collapse of the Soviet Union, he essentially cashed in, is what he did. Uh, he um, he made uh, uh, connections uh, with other Western oligarchs who were essentially taking over uh, the uh, um, all of all state properties, everything that belonged to the state of, uh, of the Russians and the Soviet Union was essentially being privatized at that time. So he found a scheme to cash in on that and um, uh, <laughs> sorry, I had a pop-up window here. Um, he he essentially cashed in on that, and it was amazing because this guy made billions of dollars connecting with very unsavory people uh, at that time, and he robbed essentially the Russian population blind by doing this. So he ended up a billionaire, and now he's being celebrated in the Western media. You know, what else is new? So... Uh, it's not that other Russian oligarchs don't exist in Russia, but Putin was probably uh, quite quite correct in jailing this guy, because this was about the uh, uh, internal resources of the uh, of the uh, of the uh, Soviet Union, and essentially what this guy did is he he privatized it all and cashed in on it. So yeah, he's a criminal of the highest order and. Just like these uh, these people from uh, uh, Chase Manhattan and all these uh, Western bankers, they all work in collusion with each other, basically. So, yes, you're you're seeing all these privatization schemes going on all over the place, and now this now this guy is being celebrated in the Western media in Germany in particular. And by by people like Genscher, uh, Hans Friedrich Genscher, okay, who who was basically the foreign minister uh, for the FDP in Germany. Now this is the the totally pro business party, totally. Um, this is like the quintessential uh, corporate capitalism personified in Germany, okay. And this guy. Uh, is it has paved his way to enter Germany for some reason as some sort of a hero. It is absolutely disgusting, and uh, rest assured that at least uh, fifty percent of all Russians, uh, is, as far as they haven't been brainwashed by all these Western schemes to start with by now, are completely against this. They know that uh, this uh, Chudovsky guy is basically a thief. <laughs> and for him to be celebrated, in, you know, in the Western media uh, is basically, I mean, you may as well start celebrating uh, the uh, chairman of Goldman Sachs and all these other assholes. That's basically what it boils down to. And this is precisely what's happening in the Western media. Now, what's curious about this, though, is that Putin actually pardoned him in the first place. Now, to me, and this has been said in the Western media, uh, this is some some sort of a you know gesture in in on par with uh, uh, the pussy riot uh, uh, pardon and um, environmentalists and all of this in lieu of the fact that the uh, Olympics are now going to happen in Russia, you know, and this is all a smoke screen. I mean, come on. Do you realize how much planning it takes to have the Olympic Games in any country, in any city, to start with? This takes years and years of preparation. So rest assured, those that groundwork has already been laid. So anybody who believes in this story, that Putin is essentially uh, pardoning uh, this guy, 
simply because he wants to look good, um, you know, during the upcoming Olympic Games is, I mean, you have to be totally naive to think that. The Olympic Games are a done deal in Russia. So my guess is that there's probably um, an ongoing internal power struggle going on in Russia. And so Putin basically makes, the, makes a good PR move and, and says, look, I'm just going to pardon this guy as long as, he, as long as he stays out of my way. He's fine. Of course, you know, he miscalculated because he's not going to stay out of his way. Uh, he's going to put the pressure on Western governments, you know, to to make Putin uh, look as some tyrant or something. When in reality, you know, um, Putin is no worse than the rest of them. So, yes, it is very much about a power game, and. Uh, I'm not sure if I would come down on the side of Putin all the way, you know, but I can certainly understand his motivation and why he perhaps had to do this, uh, you know, dealing with other oligarchs that, that uh, he has to deal with. Now, you know, I, I realize fully well that Putin is ex-KGB, you know. Um, he has his own oligarchs on his side as well. Um, but I have to say this, this, this whole... Uh, uh, episode is once again it, it just points out the hypoc the total hypocrisy of the Western media in portraying this guy as some innocent uh, human rights actor you know as if he was fighting for the human rights of the Russian people <laughs> it, it's it's essentially laughable it is completely laughable so that's my commentary for tonight and yes, I do have some material uh, uh, coming up regarding um, Mandela. And um, hopefully I'm, I'm, my computer will be up and running again next week. See you later.